Your Pony, Fallen Wish here. I'm here to give my honest opinions but still respect yours. And today, we're here to talk about why Rainbow Falls was a good episode, and why it was an excellent representation of Rainbow Dash's character. Okay, so I have to admit, initially I hated the episode with a passion. I hated how Rainbow Dash acted, I hated how the Wonderbolts acted, I just loathed the episode. But I've gone back to it and reanalyzed it, and I'm going to openly admit that I was wrong. The episode was actually rather exceptional. Okay, so let's address Dashi's characterization. Something I frequently hear other analysts and reviewers discuss is how badly Rainbow Dash was characterized in this episode. How out of character she was. She was sneaky, selfish, and unloyal. She struggled with her loyalty to the point that she had to lie just so she wouldn't have to choose who to be loyal to. Everyone seems to think this is the opposite of Rainbow's character, but in all actuality, it was an exceptional example. It portrayed it very well. You see, Rainbow Dash doesn't yet live up to her element of loyalty as well as she should or could be doing, and it's completely understandable. Think about it like this. Look back at Dashi's early days. As a fool, she loved the Wonderbolts and looked up to them. She loved flying, but at first she was sort of a weak flyer and crashed a lot. Because of this, she was teased. And as a result of that, she worked for what she wanted. She worked harder and harder and harder until she could outfly anybody. And still, the Wonderbolts were her biggest inspirations, and her dream was to fly with them. Many of you look up to bronies like Dr. Wolf, Silver Quill, Lightning Bliss, Golden Fox. Of course, these are just some of the more inspirational reviewers. But the point being, their words have a more meaningful impact on your views of the show and even your life than many others. You look to them for guidance and inspiration. So imagine if you were in Rainbow Dash's situation. Suddenly the person you look up to most is coming to you and asking you to work with them, and complimenting you heavily in the process. It's basically a dream come true. Of course you'd be torn over who to choose. Dashi spent her entire life working for herself, working to be the best. When the main six discovered that they were the elements of harmony, it must have been a shock to suddenly have to be their elements, and they wouldn't have just been them. True, the loyalty in Dash is somewhere in her good heart the whole time. She means well, but obviously she struggles with it, and that's completely understandable. For someone who's spent their life working to make herself the best, it's difficult to have to just start doing things for others. Of course she's going to have moments of doubt. Of course she's going to have moments of disloyalty. Of course, she's going to find it difficult to make the right decisions, especially when those she looked up to and strived to be like and to join her entire life are nudging her in the wrong direction, asking her to fly with them, manipulating her by stroking her ego, complimenting her, calling her a winner. That is literally offering her nearly everything she's ever spent her entire life working for. I get that. I truly do. I've been swayed in the past by someone I heavily admired and even loved. To be disloyal to my friends, I listened. A lot of bad things followed that. It was hard not to believe what that person was telling me. They had this way of just convincing you. And I believed them. And I ended up turning my back on and being unloyal to my friends because of it. I regret it every day. I wish I could have realized sooner like Dash did. I did much, much later, and I'm still trying to make things right. But I still listened in the first place. And it was the wrong decision. I was blinded by their sweet words and convincing arguments, and their picking of scabs of any and all altercations between myself and my friends. So no, it's not easy to choose, or to choose right, or even to be loyal, no matter how good your intentions may be. I do not believe Dash was out of character in Rainbow Falls. She was actually portrayed very well. She is not just a perfect character. She is not the perfect example of loyalty. She has her flaws and is struggling to learn what it really means to be loyal, what it really means to work for something, to strive for something for others rather than just for herself. And that's amazing. It's not out of character. It's not crap writing on Corey's part. Dash is in character, a character who is learning how to be her element. The writing wasn't bad, but the writing of someone who truly understands Dash's character and someone who understands the trials she must face and just how hard they are going to be. And we do see Dash get better and better throughout the series. She slowly learns. Of course she has her moments, but she needs to have those moments. The flaws are there for a reason, because you can't just suddenly be good at something you weren't used to doing prior. 
In the end of this episode, Rainbow Dash learns her lesson, and that is key. As we've already addressed, she struggles to choose between her friends and the Wonderful. She believes they are a team worth being with. The moment that she finds out they were selfish and lied to Soren, when they unnecessarily replaced him with Dash and lied to both of them, that's when she realizes it. They are not the team she wants to be part of if they act like that. She realizes she did that too. When she realizes her mistake, she apologizes and writes things. Lesson learned, and one step closer to embracing her element. Her friends were even very understanding at her conflict, and she probably should have known that they would be. But that was just another lesson. Now, I've also heard a lot of complaints about the Wonderbolts and their behavior as well. It's apparently not how they'd act, especially since the Wonderbolts Academy episode, when Spitfire supposedly learned her lesson about pushing yourself too far to win. Well, it's actually not that far of a stretch that they would do this. I don't understand why others think the Wonderbolts should just be suddenly flawless and selfless. That was one lesson. This is a completely new one. The Wonderbolts are a team of the most elite, the best. They worked for it their entire lives, too. They worked for themselves until they were the best. When they felt Dash may beat them with her team, or when they saw Dash as an opportunity to strengthen their own team, they took it. The Wonderbolts have always been about competition and precision. They want to win so they can remain seen as the best in the eyes of everyone else. So they do what they think is necessary to get the job done. To win. Dash teaches them a lesson here, too. And we see this all throughout the seasons after this. But slowly, they are becoming better and better, a more unified team, who make better decisions. For ponies who have always been about competition, they learn to be humble and loyal. They grow with Dash. Of course this episode had its flaws. The portrayal of bulk biceps, the derpy straw, Pinkie Pie, and the ending? The ending felt really odd to me. While Dash was writing her letter, we see the others playing outside in the background, but I found this odd, because we never really see them just play around like foals. Very weird. Off to me. Anyways. In conclusion, this episode was necessary. And good. It more clearly highlighted Dash's flaws, and it was one of her greatest struggles for her element yet. Throughout the entire episode, she's faced with this horrible de decision. Torn between being loyal to her friends or choosing the team that she has been working her entire life to be part of. That is a huge decision for her. More than a lot of viewers may know. That's choosing between your dream and your friends. Being unloyal to your friends who would stick by you and support you through anything, or giving up possibly your only chance of flying with your heroes, giving up the opportunity to literally live your dreams, to give up the one thing you've been working for your entire life. And this is such a pivotal moment that in her moment of ultimate realization, aka Rainbow Eyes, she sets the future into motion. She learns her greatest lesson about being loyal, and in return receiving a gift, being Spitfire's Wonderbolts pin, that will turn into the key to unlock the chest much later in the season. And she also realizes maybe what she worked for her entire life wasn't what she thought and possibly wasn't worth working for. That's big. And it made me truly love and respect this episode. Anyways, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. This is Fallen Wish saying farewell for now. Bro hoof and sis bump every pony. Bye! <laughs>